I'm Emma for The Developer Show. This is your special edition update on the coolest developer news from Google I.O. 2023. Google I.O. took place on May 10th, and in case you missed it, here's what you need to know from this year's online event. First up is AI. It's exciting to see how the world of AI is transforming all types of developer workflows. It's making traditional tasks easier and the previously impossible entirely within reach. Google is using generative AI to improve our products, from search offering relevant follow-up questions, to workspace assisting with drafting emails, to photos letting you edit images in whole new ways. Today, we're giving you access to our large language models, the ones powering so many of Google's products, with Palm API and Maker Suite. Build generative AI applications with access to Google's state-of-the-art large language models through the Palm API. Quickly create and prototype prompts directly in your browser with Maker Suite. No machine learning expertise or coding required. We're also thrilled to release several new Firebase extensions that use the Palm API, so you can integrate and extend functionality from Google and other API providers. Over in Android, we're bringing the power of AI directly into the Android developer workflow to help you be more productive. 10 years ago, we launched Android Studio with a focus on delivering innovative Android developer tools. Now, we're introducing StudioBot, an AI-powered conversational experience in Android Studio, which makes you more productive. This is an early experiment that helps you write and debug code and answers your Android development questions. And that's not the only update to Android Studio. With two new Android devices coming from Pixel, the Pixel Fold and the Pixel Tablet, Google and our partners are all in on large screens. It's a great time to invest with improved tools and guidance like the new Pixel Fold and Pixel Tablet emulator configurations in Android Studio Hedgehog Canary 3. Expanded material design updates and more. Up next is web. With Google's contributions to Chromium, Angular, Interop, and many other efforts, we want to keep moving the web forward to keep on keeping open. Wasm now supports managed memory languages like Kotlin and Dart, extending its benefits of reaching new customers on the web with native performance while reusing existing code to Android and Flutter developers. For example, if you're writing your app in Dart and Flutter, Wasm can now run your browser code more than three times faster than compiling to JavaScript. Starting today, and thanks to some early work by JetBrains, Kotlin also runs on Wasm. This means you'll be able to write your Android features once, then use Wasm to deploy your app to the web. We're also introducing WebGPU, a newly available API that unlocks the power of GPU hardware and makes the web AI ready. Save money, increase speed, and build privacy-preserving AI features with access to on-device computing power. AI, ML, LLMs, they're a big deal, and for good reason. And by using WebGPU, you can now build your app with compute that's in the cloud and on the local device. Speaking of cloud, we are transforming cloud development with Duet AI, a new generative AI-powered assistant that acts as your expert pair programmer. We believe Duet AI fundamentally changes how developers of all skill levels can build cloud applications. It provides Assistant where you need it, within Cloud Console, Chat, and your IDE. With Duet AI, you will also have the power to not just call Google-trained models, but also custom code models trained directly on your code. These are just a few of the highlights of a number of new tools and technologies we announced to help developers more easily harness the power of AI and to more easily create applications for a variety of form factors and platforms. And we're not done yet. 
Visit the Google for Developers YouTube channel to find over 200 sessions and other learning material. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Emma for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.